Everyone is jumping on the Vlogmas train this year, and I really didn't want to feel left out. So, welcome to the 12 days of Vlogmas. Hi everyone, I am jumping on that Vlogmas bandwagon and I know so many people have the most adorable names this year. Not over here. I could not come up with anything that would fit either my name or what I do. We could do music mus. Music mus? That doesn't even sound good. And no, we can't really do that. I don't really do videos about music here. I'm doing beauty videos with a no-buy spin. So if you guys have cute ideas, let me know. Maybe for next year? So I've been watching YouTube for a really, really long time, probably about seven or eight years now. And I have seen Vlogmas for years. I know usually what it's about. And I decided that I'm going to give it a try this year myself. I definitely cannot commit to 24 or 25 days of Vlogmas. I decided to do 12. There's not going to be any sort of rhyme or reason as to the days I post. I was hoping to do it every other day. I was hoping to pre-film over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, which by the way, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a lovely time. I know this year has been a bit unconventional for most of us, but I hope that you still managed to have a nice Thanksgiving weekend, whatever that looked like for you this year. But I would love to try to get 12 videos up for Vlogmas. My initial plan was to pre-film on Thanksgiving weekend, but it didn't pan out. My weekend had all sorts of curveballs and all sorts of things that came up and I was unable to film at all. So we'll see how Vlogmas goes. We're gonna give it a try. It's not going to be on any sort of scheduled days. I just have a goal of trying to get 12 videos up before Christmas. Let's see if I make it happen. So we're gonna start off Vlogmas with a pan project, a pan challenge. It's gonna be the 12 pans of Christmas, except I'm going to do a skincare edition. And I'll tell you guys more about the specific twist that this panning project is going to take on because it's going to serve a very specific purpose. But before we jump into that, I wanted to welcome back all of you. And if you're clicking on my video for the very first time, thank you so much and welcome. My name is Natalia and I am doing a no by year for the entire year of 2020. So if you are also doing a no by or a low by or maybe you're about to start one, I know that there are definitely some people who are planning no buys, low buys or some sort of combination of those things for 2021. So if you're looking for some inspiration for some ideas on how to use up makeup that you already own and just how to motivate yourself not to succumb to every wish and desire for every latest release because let's face it there are way too many releases then you've come to the right place i hope that you will consider subscribing and joining our frugal family and let's jump in to this video all right so vlogmas video number one and we're going to start off with a pan project this is going to be a little bit unconventional sort of a spin on a 12 pans of christmas challenge we're going to be using things up specifically skincare and even more specifically, stuff in my bathroom that I want out by the end of 2020. End of the year purge is basically what's happening. And I have so many more things that I've opened and used and it's still just standing around. But these are 12 that I thought I had the best chance of actually using up before the end of 2020. So we'll see how I do with this project. Some of these items I know I will definitely use up. Some might be a bit of a challenge and I'll see how many of my video ideas I end up actually having time to film, whether I have time for a quick update on this project during Vlogmas or if I'm going to do that immediately after. But I've blabbered as always long enough, let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with a couple of cleansers. I have this fresh soy face cleanser that has been in my shower for quite a while. I have no idea how much product I have in a lot of these things. I'm just going to estimate. I have a feeling I have only about I have a feeling I have only about this much left. 
it's lasted me a really long time. This cleanser I enjoy, it's very lightweight, it's definitely not something I would use for heavy duty makeup removal, so that's why this lives in my shower and I use it either at night or in the morning depending on when I shower and basically how my skin is feeling. That's going to be product number one. Cleanser number two, and this one's already cut open. This is a Korean brand, it's called Esfolio. I'm gonna do it kind of like this so you guys get like a general idea of what this used to look like. I purchased this a long time ago. I've been using this for a while. I've already cut it open, but you can see there's actually still quite a lot of product sitting at the bottom there. This cleanser is not ideal for my skin. It claims that the egg yolk extracts help to care for dry skin on the package here. And while I know for that to technically be true, this specific cleanser, which is a foaming cleanser, does strip my skin. I get that squeaky clean feeling after this, which is why I don't use it very often. It smells nice. You need a teeny tiny amount. It lathers up like crazy. So that's why this this little bit, I might not even get through it this month, but I'd like to because this package is just at this point annoying me. It's constantly in my shower, just nagging at me and nagging at me, like get me done and put me in an empties already woman. So I'm hoping to use up those two cleansers. I guess since we're talking about cleansing, this is not, I mean, this is also a cleansing water. I use this in multiple ways. I will sometimes use this as part of a second cleanse after I wash away my makeup with my Clinique take the balm, take the day, not take the balm off. My Clinique take the day off balm. I don't love this product. It's kind of been one I've been using little by little all year long. Sometimes I'll use it to clean a makeup sponge or a few makeup brushes. It's one of these pump situations, which I also can't say I love. It doesn't make it very easy to use because then you pump it and you kind of have to pour it in your hand. It's not my fave, so I want to get it done. Cleaning out in 2020. This is my spring cleaning, except it's my December cleaning. Okay, let's talk about a couple of toners. I have my lotion P50, which I don't know why I haven't still used this up. I am so close and i don't know if it's because this stuff is expensive i know i'm gonna miss it but i can repurchase it in 2021 if i really want to with my budget and yes i will have a budget so we'll talk about what that's going to entail so my lotion p50 needs to go i am so close i am so so close i'm like down to here and this is partially oh the heat noise is driving me crazy oh yes it is what are we gonna do about this? So, I had a bit of a break because the heat went on and it was really noisy and I realized I forgot to put on mascara. So, I just went ahead and actually filmed another video that's been on my to-do list. And that video probably will go up after this one so you guys won't get to see it yet. But I have two different mascaras on my eyes. I wanted to do a bit of a mascara showdown and if you're curious to find out about what that will be, then stay tuned. That video is coming up in a few days. So let's get back though to where we were. And that was our 12 pans of Christmas skincare edition. I was talking about my lotion P50 and how I have very, very little left and I have no idea why. It's almost empty. It's got only a few less looses. It's got only a few uses left. I would like to eventually repurchase and since I'm doing a no by a year right now, I'm sort of not yet in that mindset of repurchasing. So I've kind of been milking it a bit. It needs to go. It needs to, we need to have a nice 2020 clean out, close out and a fresh start. Another toner is this The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I actually have made quite a dent on this recently since knowing that I'm gonna be doing this project. I am down to right there, guys. Not very much left. So I am confident that I can use this up this month. This lasted me the entire 
year. Now, granted, I was not using exclusively this. I was jumping between a lot of products this year, trying different things out since I have so much and it was my Nova year and I was trying to kind of get a feel for what my skin likes, what I like, etc. But it's time to get this out and give you guys my final thoughts once this project is over, once I do an empties. I have an oil in here and this is actually a newer oil. This is a Bosha uh, Tsubaki beauty oil. I really like the Bosha Tsubaki line. I've tried a few of their products over the years. This bottle is beautiful, but it's not see-through at all. I want to say I'm about halfway through. This is one of those products that is a bit ambitious. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this. I don't want to force myself to use it up faster than I have to. I just want to keep using it and see if this ends up being done or not. Oils is something I only have one or two left of, so I'm definitely going to be in search of other great preferably affordable oils for the upcoming year so would love your recommendations i am dry and i love rosehip oil so i definitely would like to try that i saw during the black friday sales that actually good molecules had a lot of great deals on their skincare including their rosehip oil but i'm on a no buy and i still have oils left and unfortunately i could not take advantage of that so i will have to wait until 2020 21 to explore new skincare in areas where I am lacking at this point. All right, moving on, let's talk about a treatment. This is actually a product that is almost done. I got this as a point perk earlier this year when I did place one of my very few Sephora orders. And again, it's one of those products where I guess because it's Drunk Elephant and I know Drunk Elephant is so expensive, I just keep stalling on using this up. I need to just get it done. It's the 1% retinol Apicione retinol cream. I can't say I really can tell anything from this little size, not to mention I haven't been using it consistently enough, you know, daily or whatever, to actually see if this has done anything to my skin. So at this point, it should just take a few days, use this consistently, and also monitor my skin and see if I can notice any benefits just from that little sample. I have a moisturizer. This is the Cora's Almond Blossom moisturizer. I'm using this currently as a day moisturizer. I also have a night one from Cora's, but I didn't want to put both in this project. I felt like that was a bit too ambitious. So this I haven't been using for that long and it is not full, but it certainly still has a lot of products. So this is again one of those ambitious products and mainly I put it in here because I've, and I'll again talk more about this once I do an empties and I really get a chance to use up the whole jar. But so far I've noticed that I am not a huge fan of Cora's fragrance in their skincare products. Really not enjoying this or the nighttime moisturizer and I'm not even sure if it's the effects that I'm not enjoying. I can't even focus on that because every time I put this and the other one on I am just so overtaken by the smell but I don't want to waste it. It's not irritating my skin so I want to just use it up. I want to get it out preferably in 2020. Again get a fresh start. I still have a few moisturizers that I'm much more excited to try and use than this so it just needs to go. Eye cream. You guys have seen this in a recent eye cream video that I did, my eye cream sample roulette update, which I can go ahead and link for you guys. And this was one of the eye products that I purchased when I ran out of all eye cream. This is the Simple Soothing Eye Balm. It claims to wind down and reduce puffiness. I've been using this for a while. I don't know how much product I have, but definitely I think less than half by now because it's easily bendable at this point. And I want to see if I can use it up in the month of December. It's not my favorite eye cream. It's too liquidy and I've noticed that because eye cream is not the first step in my skincare routine, when it's extra liquidy is when I have other products already on my hands. It becomes so runny once it comes in contact with other products that by the time I squeeze it out and put this little thing back down like on my sink, sometimes the product is already almost like dripping off my hand. So not my favorite eye cream to use, but I only paid $4 for it. It's okay. I need to use it. Fine. We got three products left. I have a couple of masks. I have this Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask. This is a little size to begin with. Again, it's one of these products I just need 
to use up. I can see that there's definitely like product on the walls here because it's been laying down and it's probably to about here. So I guess if all of that drips down, I have maybe about that much left. It's like one maximum two uses. So I need to get back into self-care. I've again kind of been slacking on that. I have another mask. This is the Ole Henriksen Hy Hygie. He How do you guys say that? Higi? Hygie? It's the Hydra Clay Detox mask. We're gonna leave it at that. It has kaolin, five botanical oils, and chamomile flower extract. It's just another mask that I need to go through. It's not a very large size. I've used it already a few times. I probably have about three uses left on this, and I'm going to try to do that this month. Lastly, I have a little Ole Henriksen Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask. I keep this in the shower. It's another baby size. Don't have that much left. I've used this one in the past i've had like a big daddy size and back in the day this used to actually make my skin break out a little bit i haven't had that recently i have a few breakouts right now but it's i think hormonal i don't think it's due to this however if in a few days i am still breaking out after using this then i'll know it's this and then what i'll do which is what i usually do with any sort of polishing or scrubby things that don't work on my face is i'll use it on my body and of course that means basically after one use this will be gone that is that that, guys we have my 12 pans of Christmas skincare edition sorry everything's falling I can't seem to do this in any sort of graceful way but I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the products that I really want to get out of my life this month and I figured this would be a great start to my vlogmas series because it'll motivate me to use this all throughout the series and then i'll come back and report on how i did and how many of these products i managed to actually get through in the next three weeks and with that thank you so much for joining me for my very first vlogmas video ever if you have any suggestions for cute adorable fun funky names for future vlogmases or maybe even i can halfway through vlogmas get a name going then please let me know down below and let me know if you do this sort of thing where in December you sort of reassess your skincare or your makeup and pull out some of those things that are like on their last legs or things that you really just want to push yourself to use, use, use so that you get them done before the new year and then kind of get a fresh start in the month of January. I would love to hear whether that is something you do or if I'm the only odd one and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. One more reminder, if you haven't already, to please subscribe. Please continue to stay safe. Please continue to take care of yourself and those around you. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Oh gosh, I said that earlier and then I totally botched the intro. Of course. All right, let's try this again. It's really windy outside, guys, so I'm sorry. There's gonna be probably tons of noise today between the heat and the wind, and you know, New York City. Wash my makeup off. Vroom, 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 vroom. This is not the 2 a.m. club yet. It's 11 59, so I guess this is the midnight club. They're out early today. It's a Tuesday. I have my lotion pee. Whoa. Oh, the heat has come on. It's not thrilling. Can you guys hear that? I'm so sorry if you can, but it's cold outside. We need heat. <laughs>